Hi Leo and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for all your support so far and if you're new here welcome. So your September video was the second most popular so I'm doing this bonus love reading for you today. Okay so we're going to do um, someone on your mind today okay. Um, so we'll, we'll start with your energy first of all and then we'll go on to this other person you are strongly connected to someone and you keep thinking about them okay this just flipped over so there might have been some betrayal there may be betrayal around you at the moment from someone you keep thinking about this person you want to communicate with them but I'm also getting a bit of a stuck energy for you. Okay, bottom of the deck, wow, your card. <laughs> so, um, you're really, yeah, sort of in your element, needing to be strong at the moment. Um, yeah, wow, there's certainly this person on your mind who you're very connected to, could be a twin flame. Okay, this person could be a bit younger than you. They're a bit confused, they're stuck. So maybe that was their energy I was feeling. Um, could be in their home or in a, in a relationship. They do feel the connection with you, in case you're wondering. They want to move on. Yeah, there's your energy coming through loud and clear. They could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Pisces, okay, so it's too many cards, Okay, so they got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So they're definitely like back and backwards and forwards in their emotions. Um, they might have really, you know, been have. Sorry, can't speak today. <laughs> they might have come in and out of your life. It could be a Sagittarius. Could also be Aries, Leo. But um, yeah, they're making a decision. Some of them, I do feel they're leaving a home life sort of situation okay now reverse the energies if you know if that applies um because sometimes energies can be interchangeable but this i've got is yours and this is theirs now quite a few energies first of all came out in your side so we've got sagittarius cancer Scorpio, Pisces, Libra. Wow, lots of major arcana. So this is quite a strong reading for you. Um, a lot of you have, have been through kind of a dark and light energies with these two in particular because we've got the black and white horse and also the temperance card is really about balancing those energies between the dark and light. So that might be where you're at at the moment um, and wanting to move forward in your life as well. Healing from a situation. Um, 
you are going to have some sort of enlightenment if you haven't already. Some truth is going to come out that's really going to make you feel a lot better in this situation. Um, with the stalk here, yeah, the sign of communication coming in. Someone's definitely going to come towards you with a romantic offer, okay? Um, and it's gonna work, it's gonna sort things out. That's what I'm getting. Some of you may be going through something legal with the justice card, um, it could be a marriage. Uh, or this could be to come, okay? This is what this person wants, could be a proposal. Wow. Notice this card, I just noticed it myself, the eye here. So you, your third eye will be opening. You're very intuitive and you will only accept something very balanced, okay, like the Libra does, um, you know, in, in their energy. Now, this person, this was the energy I was feeling when I said before I feel they're stuck. Um, I do feel it's within a home situation. They want to move on from that. They're really trying to actually manifest something new. Um, and they're going to lay down their swords and leave this connection, I'm really guessing. Um, a lot of, with the sword, a lot of swords, so a lot of conflict, thoughts, um, sort of ego battles within their mind and with someone else, okay? Uh, to read the signs, Gemini... Virgo, Libra, Taurus, the main ones. Now, this is quite interesting that we got the Empress come out in their energy. So I feel that's you, if you're feminine, even if you're masculine, don't worry. The divine counterpart is on their mind and they want to reunite with you. They... Um, that's what's kept them stuck, because they realised that the situation they were in wasn't serving them. And you've always been on their mind. A uh, very strong sort of uh, connection, as I said. Now Libra's come out twice, so that could be relevant, could be in your chart. There could be another person involved, as I said, I was getting that, maybe. Some of them are involved still in there current situation um, so let actually let's clarify that <clears throat> um, now let's have a look at this five of swords five meaning a change <laughs> wow we got the magician again so there's the, you know, clarification there. They, they'd certainly want a new beginning. Um, you know, which is, they know what they want. They want their happiness. And they certainly do want to make a little offer. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Um, you know, something committed, but it might initially be just something small like a hi how are you there could be a child involved here I'm also feeling yeah so there's what they want they want to commit they want to go from that page to the king, um, most definitely. Let's have a look at this three of cups.
Okay. Well, quite a few cards. I mean, first of all, we got the Knight of Pentacles, so there's that stable offer coming in again. More Earth, so a very grounded individual. Um, they have definitely been through some changes. Two fives. So a lot of fives here for this person. The five here. A lot of ego battles, conflict, um, regret, confusion, unsure what path to take. And then suddenly it's like they have a light bulb moment with the Page of Wands. Um, a spark of inspiration I'm getting here and an awakening with the judgment card um, and this again is another reconciliation card so we've got two cards there um, about that we've got Aries Leo Sagittarius again with the page of wands could be an age gap two pages yeah a bit of an immature energy Let's see this Ace of Swords for you. What's this um, communication? Yeah, so with the page, that makes sense. Okay, so for some of you, yeah, what I'm getting is um, a feeling of discontent and moving on from something with the chariot as well. Just moving forward in, you know, taking control, taking hold of the reins, doing a lot of soul searching. We've got Virgo energy. Um, and some of you won't want to accept this offer. There's the cup of love. And you might not actually want to take it. And there he comes again. <laughs> the Knight of Pens, uh, Knight of Cups, very um, adamant, you know. Very persistent energy I'm getting from this person. Some of you are just sort of, no, I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there you go. Some of you just don't wish to engage in this any any longer and you walk away you move on you cut out this king of cups energy they could be at a distance from you and i'm certainly seeing an end of a cycle okay so some of you yeah with the world the last card in the major arcana you're going to have justice in this situation it's going to go in your favour. Don't worry about that. Yeah, there you go. Karma. Karmic completion that's going to go in your favour, most definitely. Yeah, there were lots of burdens in this situation. Anxiety, my, yeah, third party, definitely. We know there's someone else here involved. Healing needed. And then we've got your energy, the sun. So the sun's going to come out, yeah. You've, you've definitely got justice coming in this situation for you. Um, could be a soulmate that comes in. Wow. Well, with the lovers, um, you know, we've got a strong, we do have a strong connection here, Gemini, but Twin Flame, I do feel coming in. Wow. Leo, so you're both going to really work at it and grow this together and have this long term you know, commitment, loyalty. So that's coming in your future. Now, by the way, the Wheel of Fortune can also be a second chance. So, you know, this reunion this person wants with you, some of you might accept it. And if you do, 
I'm seeing it looking quite positive. Um, most definitely. Okay, let's get some Romance Angel cards to clarify any other messages. Okay, so these are a feel of messages for you. It's safe for you to love, open your heart. Um, I know you've been through a difficult time, but you know, if you open your heart, love will come in. And we've also got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, um, you know, it could be that this is someone, a new energy coming in. We do, you know, we definitely had soulmate coming through here. A strong connection, but yeah, there's something different about them. Maybe, it could be age. Um, it could just be they're different to what you normally go for, but open your heart and, and give it a go. So, yeah, all sort of positive messages. You're being told to be playful with this person. Tap into your sort of inner child. Be optimistic about your love life. And there is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming where you're going to discuss your feelings with this person. So, I mean, I do get someone from the past coming in here. And you deserve love. So maybe that's been the whole lesson here for you both, is knowing your self-worth. Wow, Leo. Okay, let's get um, a Whispers of Love card message to finish. Yeah, now that resonates. So we've got forgiveness. So holding on to things from the past, you know, really doesn't serve us. Even if um, you don't see the person again, try to let go of any sort of um, hard feelings. Yeah, and look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realise, yeah. I mean, your card came out twice, so that's really a strong message there that, um, you know, looking within, you have the answers, you know, the direction you want to go in, okay? And if you can forgive and heal, I'm seeing a really positive future for you. Wow, we've got all this like rainbow in her hair, um, changing from the ice to the rainbow, <laughs> so sort of warming up. This person's gonna warm you, I'm getting, warm you up. Okay, Leo, so I hope this has resonated. Please do let me know in the comments. Um, thank you once again for your support. Wishing you peace, love and light on your journeys and see you again next time.